how beautifully blue the sky, the glass is rising very high, Gilpin Sullivan. Well, no. <coughs> That's the wrong track. I was expecting morning, Tommy. Tommy. I've got Tommy. Hi. Hi. You are? Will. Will. No, he's Will. Now, this is Will number two. Two Wills? Mm -hmm. Where there's two Wills, there must be a way. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm told that the garden behind this end of terrace here is very steep. Oh, probably think I'm from a cosmetics firm. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Joe. Hello, yes. Good nice to, to see you. <laughs> and you. Who's this? This is Sugar. Is Sugar friendly? Yes. Male or female? She's a female. That's really good. It's a bit stupid if you're a bloke called Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy. I know one called Sugar. Charlie, two willies. Hi. <laughs> Every man should have two willies. <laughs> right, to quote Margaret Thatcher, well, sadly paraphrasing her. Shall we go and have a look at this yeah, garden sure. before I dig Come myself around. in even deeper? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, this is steep. I knew it was. I knew it was steep. This is precipitous. Crikey! Fine. Okay, I've got the solution. Forget right. the plan. Two mountain goats. One tether there. One tether there. <laughs> they graze up and down. <laughs> How'd you cut the grass? Well, Ian's attempted a few times, um, but tends to fall down the slope when he does it. So we don't surprised. do it very often. It's quite treacherous. So it's Ian that we're surprising. Yes. And we caught up with Ian, the local gym, while he was playing squash with his friend Tim. With the collusion of Tim, Ian, in blue, thought he was being filmed by Watchdog Health Check for an item on testicular cancer. Oh, okay. guys, we're doing something about um, men's health. Sure. Like, for instance, um, checking for testicular cancer. How, when was the last time you felt yourself in the shower? <laughs> Um, no, actually, I do that quite regularly, he says, without laughing. Do you think we fooled him, then? Oh, definitely. He's never stopped talking about how he's going to be on Watchdog Health Check ever since. He's telling everybody. Oh, how disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. Well, I hope there's a conversation with disappointment, because what struck me about this, I thought it's kind of jungly with these trees around it, and suddenly this vision, having seen a picture of you, a Meryl Streep. <laughs> came into my mind, and I suddenly, out of Africa. <laughs> it's very well out of Africa, actually. <laughs> but we're going, we're going jungly and plantation house, guys. Mm. So what it is, is a classic example of where decking really comes into its own. So leaving your bit of terrace up here, what I'm hoping to do is to have decks shooting out over this area at different levels. Um, and you've got a rabbit, I gather. In yeah, the... he's next door but one at the moment. Poor little thing. Well, yeah. hopefully he'll be coming back here because I want to do him a little lawn of his own, a oh, flat that would one. that would be fantastic. <laughs> but I've got these ideas for about sort of three main deck areas that want to jut out. And then on that one there, with a screen masking the shed, which isn't a thing of beauty, is this <laughs> plantation house. I'm sorry? <laughs> it had to be said. So plantation house, so you can sit a la Merrill Street. <laughs> lots of plants, lots of bamboos, very jungly, heavy on the green. So that would be fun, wouldn't it? Will you be in a sort of supervisory role this week then? <laughs> yes, I shall be sitting in the bedroom window upstairs, sipping the Campari just to show you how. <laughs> Short note, please don't attempt this on your home slope unless you are as extraordinarily skilled and talented as the two Willies and Tommy. What I thought we might do, because it's very tricky how to do this, if we make three ladder frames, three uh, carcasses out here, to the size that you want, and then we'll actually bring them in. Take them in and juggle them. Prop them up. Yeah. We can put them on temporary cramps so they're, they're, they're level. Yeah. Then we can put the big newel post and cut them in, and then we can work off of that. Temporary cramps. That sounds a bit technical to me. Meanwhile, the deck's chassis is growing ever larger and heavier. Oh, wow, now we've got to get that framework in past it. Tommy! Oh, that's great. Lovely. What have you got down there? <laughs> if you're going to carry that frame in, 
How are you going to get round in? Uh... Well, to come round that way, there's enough room there, isn't there? Ah, uh, good, Skip. Yeah, you are, madam. Your barrow awaits. Tommy, how are we going to get the wood past? <laughs> how are we going to get you done? To... Charlie, what? don't go there. Put Wait, it down. So I don't see it. Take how are we going? Out. I thought, wouldn't it be easier to construct it in there? We come up the side. Oh. Right. Oh. One, two, three, lift. And. <laughs> That's your trick, oh, yeah. Up a bit. That's it. I've put some, uh, some of those metal boots on these because the, uh, the ground's a bit soft. I found a bit of hard ground. I'll put a big concrete anchor in there. Thank you. Got any more muck there, or are you? Yeah, you can wanna, you can spin that out. Will you be able to do that? Good morning. What have you got? This is all exciting. It's like Christmas. What have oh you got? Granite. Wow. A couple of uh, square planters at the back. Mm -hmm. And we've got three of the ball shape and three of the flatter ones. Um, so these, you've got a choice. These look like those bombs that you used to get in comics. <laughs> you know, in Beano and Dandy, they'd go and they'd throw them. So it's a, it's a lamp, a lantern. Yeah, they look really nice as barbecue lights or just dotted around the garden. So what's this bomb going to cost me? Uh, that's £29 for the retail price. I think that's pretty good for a good lump of granite like that, don't yeah, you? So. Lovely. Thank you very much. At the bottom of the slope, we're turfing the only flat piece of ground under the close scrutiny of Borden's youth to make a run for Joe's pet rabbit. One, two, three. Time for deck base number two to come in. Last and thankfully least, deck base three. That's it then, that's all the decks. We don't want any more? We're in our garden. Right. Yeah. We came and you had you had a terrible slope of grass, <laughs> and we're going. We've left you with what looks like the fourth rail bridge. <laughs> I've got confidence. Good for you. So have I. It's going to be really nice this year yeah. if we finish it. If no, we will finish it. No, we will finish it. We'll finish it. <laughs> Coming in, guys. You're buying tonight. Bye, Joe. Bye. Thanks very much. See you tomorrow. It's always my turn to buy. <laughs> it was on about the depth of my pockets. Sure. See, See you, you later. Tomorrow. Yes, Thank you. Freezing, in fact. Morning. Oh. oh. <sighs> Heavens above. Mm. Oh. Hello. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Little face behind the window. Hello. Morning. <laughs> what have you done to the sunshine? I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> Bitter, isn't it? Yeah. Oof. Right. What we've got to do first is what? I give up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to stop this from shooting off down the hill, so it's anchorage time, isn't it? Logically, it shouldn't go anywhere because gravity pulling down, but I'd be a bit concerned if you had like 100 people on the yeah, edge over there. You can't trust that gravity in those no, no. no. See what it's done. Gravity very suspicious. See what it's done to my stomach, gravity. Absolutely. It's no good at all. Mm. Everything's heading south, really, isn't it? What we're doing here, we have a little bit of concern that the amount of people that can use this deck could possibly 
push the deck over this way. So we put these straps on to form triangulation. That means that all these posts will bear the weight. We've also got some added anchors at the top just to make sure that the whole deck doesn't come this way. These are the concrete boots that are going to stop the deck going that way so it doesn't pull laterally across here. Alan? Yes? The rabbit hutch. Yeah, the rabbit hutch. The rabbit hutch. I think we ought to go and look at it. Where are we going? Just next to So does he often go away for the weekend? <laughs> no, this is a first. He doesn't normally go away. It's just we thought we'd go away. Look. Hello, we, we've come bunny visiting. <laughs> oh, it's quite big. It's... The hutch is. <laughs> needs a whole deck itself. It's, it's not there. <laughs> oh, I, can see him. <laughs> I can see him. I can see him. Oh, look, he's coming out. Come and say hello. We've got your nice lawn. Oh, he's off. He's on his way. There's a guinea pig as well. Oh. Hello, look at you. Is he all right to stroke? Yeah. Hello. Oh, look at that. Do you have to groom him? Yeah, you're supposed to comb him every day, but he's not very keen on it. So what we tend to do is comb him as much as we can, and then we bathe him every other week, and then every three months he goes down to the vets for a shave. Because he gets performance. <laughs> he gets very matted. He gets more attention than I do if in the look toilet at his department. Tail, it's been shaved. Look, okay. it's like a little pipe cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> what a sad life from Angora Bunny with a tail like a pipe cleaner. Life is about to improve, Herbie. <laughs> Dramatically. So do you want to try that? Finger beauty. Oh. Does it fit? Of course. Well, there's the first, isn't it? <laughs> Whose idea was it to paint this? Alan. Does it fit? Do you know what? My first measurement was the correct one. I should have trusted my first instinct. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken to Ian. You spoke to him? Yeah. Yeah. I've delayed him as long as possible because he thinks he's getting something delivered and I've told him that I need an hour to set it up or yeah. some time to set it up and I'll give him a ring when it's been delivered so that I can tell him when he can come home. So how long from you ringing up to him coming here? Well, he's only going to be in Alton, so it's only going to be about 20 minutes. Fine. Right. Yeah. That's what you call a plant which is well established in its pot. That's what you call a plant which is too established in its pot. I can't even break this root ball up. I'm going to have to have at it with a spade a bit and bash it. Otherwise it'll just keep going around in circles and disappear up its own root ball. Bamboos are great for giving a garden a bit of an oriental feel, or in this case a jungly feel. The important thing to check about them when you buy them is that they are clump formers and not invasive, rampant runners. Some of them really do shoot across the garden and take everything over, and you spend the rest of your life trying to get rid of them. This one is a clump former, and the nicest thing about it, I'll finish doing that, is I can show you, is the stems. 
We haven't cut these down yet, there, Alan. I'll trim them up here before you. See? It always happens. Never mind. It's okay. I'll just keep telling them about the plant. You carry on. Sorry, sorry. But it's got nice stripy canes, which look even better when it's growing upright. See you later. I don't think this is going to tap out. I wish all our saw was as good as this. Mm. This is Fatinia Red Robin, and all the new growth is this lovely crimsony red Fatinia Fraseri Red Robin. It's very pretty. Yeah. Uh, we will need something like that. in the middle. Yeah. Whoop. How's that? Oh yes. Class act. And always remember, there is no such thing as instant gardening. This got the last three pieces going in, then I can uh, stop, have a cup of tea, put my feet up, relax. I'm sorry, no. Yeah. No relaxing on this phone, mate. <laughs> it's a nice thought, though, isn't it? Ian has left his brothers now, because yeah. his brothers just called me. Yeah. Now, I told him earlier that he couldn't come home until I rang. Yeah. But he's apparently told his brother that he can't, it's too late for him to do his, shop, his shopping that he needs to do yeah. now, so I don't know where he's going. Can you, what do you want to do, go down the end of the road and intercept him? If it helps, I could go up the road, intercept him, take him for a pint first. Have you got a mobile? I do. So we could ring you and say when we're ready for you to come back? You can. Please, yes, brilliant. <laughs> Young man, good afternoon, how are you? May I have to stop for a pint at the White Hart, man? Yeah, yeah. Thought you'd be there in about 15. I think we're going to fail. It is the 52nd ground force. It's, um, I can't even watch. Half past five. We've got a little bit of balustrading over there to do, and this lot right the way around here. And the skipper's gone, and the fine wood which makes the spaces between the balustradings has mistakenly been put on the skip. So we haven't got spaces now for the balustrades. Hmm. You know we run out of packers, they bung the packing stuff on the skip. All the material for this for these packers, don't panic. You see, you know we've got balustrading right the way around here. Where yeah. we need that last balustrading, supposing we had guiders top and bottom and we cut that bamboo screen that we're going to put on the end to half size and instead of balustrading on that last one, we actually had bamboo running through these grooves. Would it work? Oh, possibly. Will, I'm not sure Tom is quite so keen, but I am. Go on, um, let's hear it. Because you lost the packers, yeah. you've already got your, your grooved timbers down there, down there, and down there. Supposing we cut that bamboo screening in half uh -huh. and get fillets to flatten it out, yeah. so that then this, and it would be a nice change from balustrading, right. becomes bamboo all the way around. Can we do that? We can do that. <laughs> He's here, he's here, Charlie. Quick, quick, quick. Outside the window. That's... Guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. this side of the window, this side. This, this side. Look at your eyes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Where now? Open your eyes. Oh my god. Hello, Ian. <laughs> How nice to see you. And you. This is the latest reveal five past seven we've ever had in our lives, I can tell you. 
<laughs> oh my word. <laughs> and an audience. <laughs> I'm staggered, I don't know what, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm... You to sit down? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I'm sorry, I'm absolutely staggered, I can't believe this. <laughs> Precipice to Pièce de Résistance by Tommy and Two Willies in two days, with a little help from the plant department. On the main deck sits the bamboo gazebo at the garden's focus, whilst below decks, plants prevail. Plants to soften the structure. Stone to sharpen the styling. Altogether, not a bad place for bunnies and people to party in. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was your rabbit run, Matt. Wonderful. Just what I was going to do myself. Of course you were. <laughs> What's happened to Tim? He's coming. He's, in the pub. He's coming. Did he not? He's coming. He knows his nails are really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> We hope you enjoy it, and, and a belated happy birthday, and you will stop shaking soon. I will, I, I, I will. <laughs> Johnny <laughs> Joe will. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you all so much. From the Ground Force team, well out of Africa. Till the next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. And how did you like the health check interview? <laughs> <laughs> yes, watchdog health check. <laughs> oh, it was him. <laughs>